Okay, now we're going to go through um, prepaid expenses and how to amortize them. So a lot of times when we come in and we look at our customer's books on their chart of accounts, they have an extensive chart of accounts. <laughs> they have all their prepaids in here. They have all their employee advances by employee broken out. So there's a different way to be able to handle that, a much more effective way to be able to handle it. And that's what we're going to go through now. Okay, so right now in our prepaid insurance account, we have zero, um, but you can see that there are transactions in there, right? So what happens is we get a bill from our insurance company, okay, and they're going to bill us for the year. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to actually just write a check for this. Okay, so it's coming to the checking account. We're paying um, automobile insurance company and we're going to put it to prepaid insurance and to make it nice and simple for the year we're gonna say we owe them twelve hundred dollars okay all right so now there's twelve hundred dollars against the prepaid insurance now why would we want to use prepaid insurance so basically twelve hundred dollars right is for the entire year of our insurance payment. Now let's say it's December or even September, right? Now if I build and I put in $1,200 and I put it straight to an expense account, then it's going to take the expense for the entire year into the current period in my current year, right? And I don't want to do that because really what it should be is I should be expensing $100 a month for the next 12 months. Now, of course, you have to decide what's material. $1,200, maybe that's not material for your company. And we can help you decide that if you have questions around it. But let's say $12,000. Let's go back to that. Now it's $1,000 a month in expense. That's probably material, right? For most, a lot of companies, that's material amount. All right, so I'm going to move it to $12,000. Okay, so now that I have that in there in prepaid in insurance, uh, what we want to do is we want to go in and set up a recurring journal entry to what's called amortize our prepaid insurance. So we come into the journal entries. I'm going to hide that stuff down there. And I'm going to say we want to credit prepaid insurance $1,000. And in my memo, I'm going to say monthly uh, amortization of prepaid car insurance okay I can put in here a name right so what vendor are we amortizing this for and I already forgot the name that I used let's go look uh, automobile insurance company how, how could I forget that okay I can put in a class if you need to if you do class tracking and then the debit side is going to be where you hit your expense monthly so we have insurance auto okay and again you can put a name in there if you want to and then I can memorize this transaction have it automatically posted every month right on the first of the month and I have 12 remaining I'm gonna enter it five days in advance okay so now I have that set up in there I'm gonna say save and then I'm actually gonna create a copy of it just, I'm just going to post a couple of these in here, right? So save and then create a copy and save. Okay, so now I have three months worth posted. All right, so I have in here my prepaids. So what's nice about it, since I have it running through the balance sheet account, on the balance sheet accounts, you can reconcile these. So I can come in and say I'm going to reconcile my prepaid insurance account. Now the balance that you should reconcile anytime you're reconciling any balance sheet account in QuickBooks that you are not getting a statement for, right? Like I'm not going to get a statement from my insurance company that says you have amortized $3,000 so far this year. No. So if I don't get a statement like I do from my bank when my bank says you have, you know, $78,154 in your bank, then I'm always going to reconcile it to zero. Okay? Because what I'm trying to show is I'm trying to show the ins and the outs of the inside the account, and I'm going to show that they balance. 
So in here, right, again, we had those old ones, that 6875 that were sitting up in here for Gretton Insurance. You can see the payee. Now on the journal entries, I didn't put the payee on there, but I know that that's all Gretton, so I can check them off, okay? Notice that I check off the right side, I check off all the ones on the left side, it gets me down to zero, and I can hit reconcile now, and then just close out of the reconciliation. So now when I go back into my reconciliation again, all that I'm left with in here is my $12,000 for automobile insurance and then the $3,000 that I have amortized. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set up a separate example. So I'm going to go ahead and just banking write checks again and I'm going to write a check this time to, let's say, Heath Insurance Company and it's going to go to prepaid insurance. This time it's going to be for 20, 20, let's say 24, uh, 24, 2, okay? And so I have that set up in there, prepaid insurance, yes. And then I'm going to go in again and create my journal entries to amortize it. And you know, if you need help creating your amortization, amortization schedule, we can help you with that. Because the thing that you want to understand with creating your amortization schedule, let's say with insurance, right? So sometimes what'll happen is you'll pay $10,000 down and then you have a payment in 90 days of $10,000 then you have the remaining payment of $4,000 at six months or something. So sometimes you have to mess around with that amortization schedule. But in the end, you know, we need to know what's the time period. So this 24,000, let's pretend, 24, 2242. Let's say this was a three year contract, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here to prepaid insurance and I'm gonna credit it, 24, 24, 20, and I'm divided by 36 months. So it's 673 a month, okay? All right, and again, it's important if you can, put the name in there, health insurance company. Okay, now again, if you pay, like insurance companies, generally you pay them every month, right? You don't pay them 12, 36 months in advance. So if you pay them every month, doing this as a prepaid is not the way to do it. You just want it hit to hit the expense account. This is only if you're prepaying for several months in advance, okay? So prepaid insurance, the expense is going to be uh, health insurance. I don't know, we'll say general liability for now. I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to create a copy of it, right, and do it at the end of February, create a copy of it, do it at the end of March, create a copy of it, right, and I'm, you're not going to do this ahead of time. I'm just uh, doing this as an example so that you can see. So you'd, you would memorize it and have it post automatically every month, right? Okay. So now when I come in to reconcile, right? So I have my automobile, automobile insurance company and then I have my, my two payments over here. So these all still have open balances, right? So I have my 3,000 here and I have some payments there. So I'm not gonna check these off because they're not gonna reconcile to zero. If I check this off and check these off, I'm gonna be left with $9,000 in there, okay? But because I have it set up this way, what I can do now is I can go in and run a report. So I click on uh, reports, I come down to my custom transaction detail report, I'm going to say for all time and then I'm going to filter the report for just prepaid insurance. Okay. I'm also going to filter the report for cleared status no, right? It has not been reconciled yet. And then I want a total by vendor. So see what it does for me is it picks up, it says, oh, you have $12,000 in there and 3,000 has been amortized, so you have a balance of $9,000 against your automobile insurance company. You have a balance of 20,201.66 against your health insurance company. Okay, and then what, if you're doing this correctly, that, that balance here, that 29,201.66 should tie out 
to your balance that's sitting in that account. Right? If it's not, again, you know, we have to troubleshoot, why not? Okay, but that allows us to keep track of all of our prepaids in one account. We can still run the subledger report to know how much per company we're due. And then, so I'm going to go ahead and open up this journal entry and create a copy of it. And I'm just going to do the remaining 9,000 as an example here. Of course, you'd want to do it every month, but I'm just going to close that one out. So now, when I go into reconcile, right, so I can say, oh, you know what, $12,000 automobile insurance company. Actually, wait, before I even reconcile, what's better is to look at your report. So see here on my report, my report is showing me you can reconcile this, these payments out because it's, it's going to zero now. Okay, so then I know I can come in, check off everything on mobile insurance. It's going to bring me down to zero. I hit reconcile now. And now look, on my report that I created, I'm only left with my health insurance company open transactions, right, that I need to amortize. Okay. So that is how to do prepaid expense amortization. The same thing can be done with prepaid, I mean, any prepaids, the same thing can be done in there. Same thing can be done for any kind of employee advances. So if your employees are borrowing money and then they're slowly paying you back, that's another one that we do frequently. You don't have to set up a sub account for every single employee who owes you money. Use that name field and then use the reports appropriately so that you can see what the balance is in that account and who owes you the money, okay?